Sometimes it's hard to get a name for a beer. So this one was named after the tank it was fermented in. It's Bear O'Clock. From Kansas City in the USA, we have Tank 7 from the Boulevard Brewing Company coming in at 8.5%. Now, it's quite interesting how this beer got its name. They were experimenting to try to um, produce a, a Belgium style farmhouse, farmhouse ale. And the ingredients would be different ingredients and different tanks like. And the tank which produced the beer what they wanted it to be was tank number seven. So uh, that's why they called this beer tank seven. So it's quite an interesting you know, d d story to how this, uh, this beer got its name. Um, sometimes it's quite funny how the beers get their names. Um, basically, what I try to do is replicate a, a Belgian farmhouse ale or a Saison ale. Um, now, this is more of an artisan Belgian beer and lots of different um, people will say different things about them. You know, there's people that say these beers are, are one hop, one malt. And there's others that will tell you a story about during World War II where um, a lot of pills and yeast was used in the production of these ales because they were nicking it. I don't know how true this is. Um, it's just you know a few little stories that sort of do the rounds on on the on the farmhouse saison ales. So what we'll do is we'll crack this one open and we'll give it a try. See what it's like. So, we've got that lovely golden colour, a um, little bit of cloudiness and a nice three finger head, that's to start with this beer. When you take your the smell of this, it's a big, big surge of fruit, um, grapefruit, hops. It's really, really got a lot, a lot of aromatics on this beer. It really, really is a nice smelling beer. So let's go for a dive in and have a taste. This is very, very big grapefruity. Very hits you with a slight, you know, having grapefruit with just as it is, you know, that sourness, uh, um, it's very dry, um, there's a hint of pepper in there, very, very bitter and dry. Nice though. It does tend to stick in your mouth, on your tongue, the sides of your mouth, but it's to be expected when you've got an 8.5% beer. There's very few beers uh, uh, that sort of ABV that are not going to um, stick to you, stick to the insides of your mouth. And also you get that warming when it goes down. It's all warm. Yeah. All in all, um, it's a nice beer. You get an initial sweetness at the start of the sip, and then it goes to this dry, bitter, all the way through to the back end. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting. 
some of the other saisons I've had are slightly sweeter than this, but um, you know, if you like a sweet beer, you're not going to like this. If you like a dry beer with a lot of bitterness to it, then this is the beer for you. It's it's quite a complex flavour. And I think everything that they want this beer to do comes out, i.e. the grapefruit taste, the bitterness, the dryness, slightly peppery um, end to it. I think that's what they possibly wanted this beer to be. And it has, it's done, it's ticked all the boxes that the brewers wanted it to be. Um, it's a good beer. Um, buy a bottle. Try it, see what you like, you know, see what you think about it. Um, leave a comment, um, hit that little bell that gives you notifications apparently when uh, I bring out another video. Um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, you know, without you guys uh, following this channel, we wouldn't better do the video. So, you know, it's a good sign, you know. Um, share it, recommend it to all your mates, you know, all that sort of thing. And as always, um, Beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.